Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com and welcome to another First Cut video. I'm going to be doing some uh, watercoloring uh, for my uh, 12 Weeks of Halloween Week 8 project. We're going to be coloring this little image from the Haunt You Later set. I think these little guys are so cute. Uh, so I'm using an aqua painter and I have stamped using our new archival ink, basic black archival ink on the thick whisper white cardstock. And I let it dry really well before I ever add water to it. So I'm going to just very quickly color this so you can see how I did it. I pumped the ink pad. This is Smoky Slate so I can get a little pool of ink there. And I'm going to bring down a little bit of water and you don't want too much because again this is not watercolor paper but I have found that it holds the water very well. Uh, it doesn't um, peel up, get little knobbies on it you know because it's peeling up the paper so um, and this is not super great watercoloring job it's just cute for this little Halloween project. So I'm just putting in some color here I didn't want to make this black. I didn't want it that um, drastic. Okay, so I want to make this a little bit darker because that's where the shadows are. And then you can always pull up a little bit of the ink by just not adding ink and just adding water. So. That, that technique works a little better on watercolor paper, but it does work on here too. You just don't want to add, overload it with the water. Okay, I'm going to get his pants down here. Uh, and I'm going to put a little more ink there because I want those darker. So it's a little more concentrated, not quite as much water on my brush. Okay, and I think I got his hand a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. And then next I'm going to get my uh, Rich Razzleberry and I want him to have funky hair so whoop, I forgot to put my ink pad. So let's uh, clean off the brush and just give him some purple hair. He is going to match the actual little um, treat that I'm putting him on. It's going to make it out of Rich Razzleberry cardstock. So, okay. I think I want it a little bit more intense than I had it on the sample. Or maybe give him some variation like he has streaks. How about that? Okay. You don't have to make it hard, just make it fun, okay, and play around with it. All right, now I'm going to give his eyes, no, shoes. I want rich Razzleberry shoes. Whenever I do this, I think about Nick Cannon on, uh, what do you call that show? America's Got Talent and his crazy shoes. Okay, now I'm going to take some Cucumber Crush and I want him to have green eyes and um, that's just to give a little bit more color to the project and make him kind of funky looking. Okay, so the very first Dracula I did, I tried to do his face and I thought, mm -mm, they don't have color on their face. So um, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is take some dazzling details and give him some sparkle. So if any Twilight fans out there, you know uh, Edward's face sparkled in the sunlight. So I'm just giving him a little bit, moving it around with my finger. Let me get this a little closer you can see. his ears and then we'll let him dry and then I'm going to cut him out leaving just a hair of a border around him and he's going to go on our project. 